Hi. Today I will help my friend learn how to do 3D camera moves in Storyboard Pro 22. First, create your drawing object, you can use a square box for now. There is an option in the toolbar menu called Easy Drag, you can select this to make it easier to drag drawing objects. If you want, there is an option to scale pencil line, this is useful if you want your line to scale up and down in size when you're using your transform tool. Press the 3D button in the top menu bar and this will convert your scene from 2D to 3D. Then go to the main stage view tab, press the little plus symbol, to get a drop down menu, drop down to camera view. You can then drag the camera view over to split the screen, so you can have both views, to do your camera moves. Using the camera transform button, you can now transform and animate your camera in the stage view and see your result in the camera view. In the timeline, you can then select the camera keyframe button to add a keyframe to the start of the scene. and then add another keyframe button at the end of the scene. This will allow you to do a cool camera move that is dynamic and not flat. If I need to get a better view of my stage view, I can go to my pan tool, hold down the button and drop down to my 3D navigation tool. This will allow me to rotate around my camera and stage elements without affecting my camera. Now I can better see where to move my camera and set it up for a dynamic move. From here you can move and rotate your start and stop positions in the stage view. As well, you can use the camera view to move your camera start and stop positions. You can always add more keyframes and also make longer camera moves. This is just an example on how to set it up so you can start playing with the camera in 3D world space. If I want to animate my drawing object frame by frame, I can use the split panel in my timeline by right-clicking and selecting split panel at current frame. This will maintain the camera move and allow me to draw more frames for 2D animation. So let me draw an X so you can see the different frame I made and I can still maintain the camera move. One note, you cannot draw on an angle in Storyboard Pro, you will have to rotate the drawing to match your camera so you can draw on it, after you are finished, you can rotate it back into position.
I am going to split it again to show that I can add as many in between frames to do basic animation in my scene. This is a quick and easy way to get camera move and 2D animation in Storyboard Pro. If you have any requests or wish to learn more about Toon Boom Harmony or Storyboard Pro just drop us a message at our YouTube channel. You can also learn more about the software at ToonBoom.com.